All right, what's going on YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video with TC. Now, look, in today's video, what I'm about to be talking about, I'm going to get straight into it. You know, I know y'all don't got no time to waste. I appreciate y'all coming and rocking with me for this short amount of time, long amount of time, however long the video going to be. I'm going to try to keep the video as short as I can, short, sweet, and to the point. But first, before I get into the video, let me shout out to everybody who continues to come back and support me. I thank you guys for y'all engagement in the comments, the likes, whatever you're doing. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you for those who follow me on Instagram and message me. Definitely appreciate that. But look, in today's video, man, I want to tell y'all how y'all could be getting disserviced in a relationship and be blind to it. Because a lot of times what I've noticed is when it comes to these relationships and dating and everything that's going on, women have a mentality of take me as I am. You met me when I was doing this. That's a lot of women's mentality. You know, you'll meet a woman while she a stripper and you'll meet a woman while she, uh, you know, out going out and bartender and little do showing her cleavage on Instagram. Their mentality is you met me when I was doing this. Why is it a problem now? Now, if you switch roles from woman to man a man can never think like this you thinking if a woman stay with a man for 10 years five years he gonna be talking about you met me when i was broke why well, is the problem now you think women are gonna side with the woman or side with the man pop quiz but when a woman gets to talking about you met me when i was a stripper why you don't why you still mad i'm still stripping you think the women are gonna side with the woman or the man I think we all know the answer to that because anytime a woman cries wolf, the woman is on her side. Anytime a woman cries wolf on, about a man, people are going to be on her side still, most likely women. And you guys don't need to be accepting that because relationships come with change. You women, women will get online and swear. I lost myself. I lost myself in my marriage. I lost myself in my relationship. And you know why that is? Because a lot of women are depressed. I finally, I came to the thought today because I never heard a man say, I lost myself in my marriage. I lost myself in my relationship. They might say, I don't like who I was because yes, that's something that can affect you being around somebody, being in a relationship. You cannot like who you become. I've never heard a man say though, uh, I lost myself. And I, I realized I came to a realization. Women are naturally depressed. I'm not just saying that. You probably seen a lot of women in the world. Most time, most women you encounter in the world be depressed, man. And this is just stone cold hard facts. And it probably gets dressed up and covered up because women are pretty, right? So it's easy to cover up. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of women be depressed, bro. And they get into these relationships and they get into these marriages and they expect that person to make them happy. Years ago, Will Smith came out with a quote and everybody was just on it. Everybody was quoting it. Everybody was writing it. Everybody was reciting it like it was Sierra's prayer. Two people should be happy themselves and come together and share that happiness. Women have lost this concept. Women, I think, are naturally depressed. It could be a multitude of reasons why this is. It could be because of social media. It could be because they're... You know, fear of missing out. It could be because there's so many beautiful women that they feel like they're ugly. Because a lot of women just feel like they flat out ugly, bro. This is why men have the confidence and egos that we do. Because a lot of men don't look at other men and get jealous of how they look. It's just not bred in us for most men. But for women, it's just like, what other, how can you lose yourself? Every woman, I, look, I lost myself. I, I, I don't want to be married no more. Da, da, da. You lose yourself because... You never had a sense of self. You never actually knew who you were. You were looking into this relationship to make you happy. And now you're blaming it on him while you're not happy. Now you're blaming it on him while you need a divorce. Now you're blaming it on him while at all the problems that you have in life, you're blaming it on him when you get out of a relationship, you're still depressed. You're still a depressed person. This is, and this is most women we're talking about. You're still a depressed person looking for attention online. Now, that's not the topic of this video. That was a small little rant. We'll go on that, that topic on a separate video. But the thing is, though, 
like I said, most women have the attitude of they. It's a, it's a take me as I am. I don't need to improve nothing. Um, you met me when I was like this. Why is it a problem now? But they will swear they want somebody that they can grow with. Have kids. I want somebody I can have kids with, grow with, evolve with. But they want to stay the same. But they'll swear you made them change for the be- for the worse. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like I'm tired of y'all getting gaslit and so many men falling for this. I seen a man online. He was like, look, man, I left my girl because she said she didn't want to stop stripping. She said she didn't want to stop doing this. And I agreed with her. And I'm a good thing that relationship was over, bro. Because let me tell you this. If you got with a woman today, no matter what she say, because women will say, it'll be a woman watching this video and she'll be like, no, if he do to do, I'll, I'll accept him as he is because that's how I got with him. Don't even give yourself a headache, guys. Just stop listening to what a woman says, man. Let's look at her actions because a woman will get with a guy who sells drugs, right? And, you know, it ain't about changing nobody. But when you're with somebody, you should be with somebody who's going to improve you. And women, let me tell you, women don't get with men who can improve them because they want to be the man. They want to be above the man. Like women get online and say, oh, I I want a man who could do, do, do. And remember for a while, they was like on that. What can you teach me? I ain't heard that in years. What can you teach me? Because they feel like they know everything. What can you teach me? I, I ain't heard that in years. Teach me something. Teach me something. Bobbleheads, bro. I ain't heard that in years because these women are not trying to be taught. They think they know everything. They think women have all the answers, which is false. Which is false. Not even men have all the answers. I feel like together we could we could come up with all the answers, but... For surely, women don't have all the answers. For surely, women do not have all the answers, man. Um, and y'all need to stop following for that. Y'all need to stop following for that. Oh, I was posting pictures like this when you met me, and now I'm still doing it. Why is it a problem? Because we're in a relationship. We've been in a relationship for, what, three years, you know? Uh, you know, what, 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 what's, what seems to be the problem? Because you, as a man, you're not finna be like, I was broke when you met me. You're not finna get with a girl when she 20, when y'all 20, when you 29. I was broke when you met me. What's the problem now? Because you know a woman is going to leave you, right? A woman will strip and be with you and then get everybody to back her up. Like, oh, I was doing this when you met me. What's the problem now? Because guess what? Women, women understand, I guess, I guess women understand men don't leave. Y'all got to start leaving. Y'all can't accept the bare minimum. That's the bare minimum. Social media. Really? That's the bare minimum. And we in, we in the age of social media. I hate when people just say, oh, it's just social media. No, nigga, this is our generation. Our generation is built on social media. Literally. It ain't just social media. For, that maybe them people from the nineties era can say that. Nah, not us. It's not just social media. Social media is really the in and out of everything that you want to do. Quite frankly, the job you want, LinkedIn. Yeah, uh uh-huh. We taking it there. Yeah. The girls that you could be interested in, your girlfriend now, you probably met her on social media. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Instagram, the biggest dating app. All it took was a couple likes, right? A couple likes to get that. You know, it's not it's not just social media. It's entertainment. It's you know attracting other suitors. It's 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 more than that, and that's what women see it as too. Don't let women get on here and lie to you and say, "Oh, I'm just you know posting for my friends," and I'm just uh... women post pictures and stuff to see how much attention they can get from other guys, bro. That's exactly why they posted. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care how how a woman will make you feel about it. You know, you got dudes on here like when she posts on her story and don't send it to me first. 
making jokes like bro that's not a laughing matter you know it's so it's it's social media until you start social media ing you know what i'm saying when you start social media ing that's when a woman will, you'll see how a woman really feels about social media you know what i'm saying when you start making yourself as available as her this is why I always tell y'all don't get the happy weight and always be in the gym and stay in shape. Because when you start social mediaing like her, then you will see how she really feels about social media. Then you get to post the gray sweatpants and, you know, whatever got your print, whatever you got going on and, and, and bitches sliding up. Then you'll see, okay, nah, remember it was just social media when you was, you know what I'm saying? But then she ain't gonna like that though. She gonna hit you with the, why you doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I said this in my last video. I'm going to keep reciting it. A woman never will stay with her match sexually. Woman, women are not secure enough in themselves to stay with somebody. I don't care what you what you see and what you think. When you look at a couple and you be like, mm, they, they, they favor, they equal, they in looks. A woman will only settle down unless she's secure. A woman will only settle down with somebody who she feels like is beneath her in looks. I promise you she feels like she has the advantage on this person in some way when she settles down with them i don't care if she thinks she's smarter fitter whatever the case may be a woman will never settle down and get married to somebody she doesn't feel like she has an advantage over in some way you know what i'm saying the advantage if y'all watching this and you just looking at your wife right now and you like oh i look better than my wife or i look better than my girlfriend the advantage could be just you got a good job and she see in the future mm -hmm, i can get over on his ass mm, you didn't even think about that did you you didn't even think about that did you the main thing that i want to get because i'm not even gonna make this video alone the main thing i want to let you guys know before i cap this video off is just that man look y'all don't be out here accepting women who are saying things like i was doing this when you met me why i can't still do it because you're supposed to grow with somebody you know, you don't want to be with somebody who y'all 40 and she's still doing childish things and you can't correct her because all she's going to say is what most women say on social media. As a man, yes, you should be able to correct your woman. That's part of providing and protecting. You know what I'm saying? And look, maybe once maybe once everybody understands what really comes with marriage and what the roles of a man really is with marriage and you men stop bending over and to you know make these women happy because marriage is not about happiness yes you can make your partner happy but yes as you're not just supposed to be the disciplinary with the kids and it's not i'm not saying you have to discipline your wife you know what i'm saying i'm saying your words should mean something to her you know it shouldn't be a thing where a husband and a wife is getting ready to go out and a woman is saying, my husband is secure. He don't care if I have my ass and my titties out. No man is okay with that. I don't care what you say. And that does not make you insecure if you don't want your girl ass and titties out when she going to the club, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just like she wouldn't want you to be butt ass naked when you go to the club. You get what I'm saying? It's just that's a fact of life. And that's what comes with providing and protecting. You know what I'm saying? And just like... uh. If a woman was to work at a strip club, like I said in the beginning of it, she worked at a strip club and she like, I was doing this when we first met. Boom. It's been five, six years. Why is it a problem now? It's a problem now because now we we serious and you want marriage, right? So as a man, you should be able to step in and say, it's a problem because of the threats that come with working at a strip club. It's a problem because somebody could see you when you come out of the strip club that okay you kind of didn't give him the dance that he wanted he decided to follow you home and boom because the world do get that crazy it's no different than if you was with a girl and y'all decide to take things serious and she say look i don't want you to be a drug dealer no more because it's a threat that comes with that you know what i'm saying you can have ops i'm trying to have kids i'm trying to do the do you know somebody could follow you home after a bad drug deal somebody could try to rob you a, a drug deal gone bad somebody could kill you it's the same thing but that's what comes with your provision and your protection all of this, you know, women will submit to this, do, do, do. Bro, I done seen the best of men, great careers, great everything on paper, not get treated with respect from their wives. And you will know how a woman feels about her man by how she treats him in public. I always tell y'all, 
Bro, never tolerate any disrespect from a woman in public. I don't care if she is joking. Bro, you do not joke. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If a nigga come and smack the fuck out you right now, would it be a joke if I say, ha, ha, ha? No, that's the same way you should feel about if she disrespect. Bro, there's no facial expression a woman could give me that is sour. Unless we just like, in a setting where it's like, we not all the way out in the public front, but we just like, to ourselves, like let's say we had a picnic at a park and we far away from everybody else, that's different. But if you in a public, like you at a party and your woman giving you attitude, like, like nigga, I'm not listening to you. You should not be accepting that. You should not be accepting that. That's not a laughing matter at all. At all. And that has nothing to do with control. That just has everything to do with I wouldn't do that to you, so don't do it to me. You get what I'm saying? Because you shouldn't even be in a point in public where you like Making people think that you disrespecting or talking down to your woman. But I see more and more women doing this. Like getting attitudes with the husband like Johnny and storming off. That is not a laughing matter. That is not something to because like I say, if a man was to slap the shit out your wife or your girl right now in public for you who's soft as hell and you looking at this and you not want to take heed to the message, she's going to expect you to do what? Jump in and do something. But right when she was disrespecting you. Who who can tell her who can tell her anything if she's if she's disrespecting you? You know what I'm saying? You are you're not the mature audiences will understand me when I'm saying this. A woman will only respect you as much as she respected her dad. I say that because listen, you are the father presence in her life without being weird about it because you are asking her dad for her hand in marriage and he is giving her off to you that's what marriage is so if she disrespects you in public she does not respect you because you can best believe i never seen it even if the dad wasn't in life for 50 years i never seen a woman disrespect her dad in public and not have serious repercussions and this is how everybody should feel. This is how all men should feel. Anytime you're with your woman out in public, disrespect should not be tolerated. Kind of got off topic with this video, but look, man, that's the end of this video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know my next video is dropping on the channel, man. And we're going to go.